Hi friends, today we will discuss about the principle as well as the types of incubator. What is an incubator as well as what are the parts of an incubator? I have done a video earlier. Please do watch it before you go for the types as well as the principle of incubator. So what is the basic principle behind an incubator is that Microorganism requires certain parameters for the growth. So, they require optimal temperature, humidity, oxygen and carbon dioxide levels for their growth. So, incubator provides these conditions for the better growth of the microorganisms. So, this is the principle of incubator. So, in an incubator, the temperature is maintained by a thermostat. That is, with the help of thermostat, we can maintain the temperature. And the value of the temperature, that is, the temperature inside an incubator can be read from outside with the help of a thermometer. So, the temperature is maintained by utilizing the heating and the non-heating cycles. What happens is that, during the heating cycle, the thermostat heats the incubator and during the non-heating period, the heat is being stopped. So this is how the temperature is maintained in an incubator. And it is cooled by radiating the heat to the surrounding. So this is the mechanism of maintaining the temperature inside an incubator. Similarly, other parameters like humidity and airflow is also maintained by different mechanisms so that the temperature inside an incubator can be similar to the natural environment of the microorganism. So now, let us discuss the types of incubators. The first type of incubator is bench top incubator. So this incubator is the most common incubator and these incubators have the basic type of incubation that is temperature control and insulation. So this is the most commonly used incubator which is bench top incubator. So now let us discuss the next type of incubator which is the CO2 incubators. So these are the special kind of incubators which are provided with automatic control for carbon dioxide as well as humidity. So for the microorganisms that require 5 to 10 percentage of carbon dioxide concentration is being cultivated using CO2 incubators and for the humidity control the water is being kept beneath the cabinet so that the water is evaporated and the humidity can be controlled. So this is a CO2 incubator that is an automatic control of carbon dioxide as well as humidity is present in these incubators. So now let us discuss the next type of incubator which is cooled incubators. For those microorganisms that require a very low temperature for the growth, these incubators, that is the normal incubators, cannot be used. Therefore, these normal incubators are modified so that they accompany with a refrigerator system. So that the heating as well as the cooling can be maintained. So such an incubator is called cooling incubator. So in such incubators, the heating as well as the cooling should be appropriately balanced. So this is a cooled incubator that is an incubator which is modified with a refrigerator. So another type of incubator is a shaker incubator. That is a shaker is also added to an incubator. So an advantage of a shaker incubator is that it helps in a rapid as well as a uniform transfer of heat. As well as due to the continuous agitation, it increases the aeration 
and results in increased growth. So these shaker incubator can only be used for broth or liquid cultures. That is, it cannot be used for solid cultures. It can only be used for liquid cultures. So this is the main limitation of shaker incubator. This image is of an orbital shaker incubator. The next type of incubator is the portable incubator. As the name suggests, it is portable since it is very small and handy. So it can be carried out for examination in field work. For example, for environmental microbiology as well as water examinations. This image is of a portable incubator. A portable incubator is very handy and can be carried out for field works. Please do subscribe to our channel by Tech Simplified. And if you like the video, please like and share with your friends. If you have any video suggestions, please do mention it in comments.